we're going to use our good friend get or here from Lodash, which safely gets a dotted, in this case, even array in dice, but you can still provide a default value. So this will solve two of our problems out of three. It'll safely access dot properties and not throw a null pointer if any of them are undefined. But second, it'll also give us a default value, something that indicates, hey, we couldn't find what you're looking for. My job here is to say, I couldn't find what you're looking for for whatever reason, either it doesn't exist or you misspelled something or something deeply in there is null. I don't know, but if you see me, we've got a problem in the data. And so we've provided these unknown question marks. Good news, they won't break format numbers. So let me show an example when we do with good data. Run this example. And with good data, it works just as normal, gets the actual property from the list of people, gets the first item. But watch what happens when we get one, which doesn't exist. It's gonna give you this back, and the phone number's like this. So a good start, it's a hint <laughs> that something's wrong with your data, but it didn't blow up. And at least you know maybe, perhaps, what index it was. Maybe you could you know, dynamically inject the index in there to say whatever. So it, it solves the null pointer problem and it solves the not getting undefined back problem, but it still doesn't hint as to what you did. So we're gonna use a maybe and transform that data and get a little more insight into what things broke by refactoring this function using an actual real world maybe algebraic data type.